Right guys, you want to see how I built this workbench with incorporated uh, table saw. Uh, please stick around and I'll walk you through the process of how I built this. Timber here, rough plans there, so let's get to it. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make the legs. I'm going to use double lapped 4x2s or 2x4s. Uh, I've worked out my sizes. Now I need to cut 12 pieces at, in this case, it'll be 654 millimeters. So I'm just going to set my stop at that size and cut 12 pieces of timber. We'll glue these together, screw them together and that'll be ready for the next stage. Okay, so I've laid these out. Uh, all I'm going to be doing is taking this piece here, matching it up with this one here glue it and screw it, and this distance here is going to be the same as a 4x2 or 2x4. So we'll get a bit of glue. <clears throat> so basically that's what we're looking for. That's the legs done, simple as that. So we've glued and screwed these all together, we'll just let them dry now. I was just making the top frame now, uh, I've basically made mine, the, this represents a full sheet of plywood. Uh, I'm just going to screw right through the ends here and create the frame, making sure it's square. Right guys, I'm just placing the legs in position. So these are the legs that we made earlier, so they simply place Over there like that and we'll screw these from the back into the frame. I'm just putting the corner legs in at the moment. I need to determine the size here for the table saw. So I'm just going to do the four legs at the moment. We'll build the bottom frame, screw all that together and then flip it over. Right, that's the bottom frame fitted guys. I'll just show you how I've done that. As you can see the joints there. Yeah, the reason it's done this way, there's going to be casters on the bottom of the here. And that gives you, a, you know, a good solid base to fit the casters on. Yeah, I've just fitted the legs where the table saw shelf will be. Um, I've built this to the specific measurements of the table saw. I use the, the Dewalt, just a small job site table saw. But this is the saw that will be incorporated into the bench. So I'll show you how I've measured that now, if anybody's interested. Okay, so here's me looking down on top of the, the table saw. Um, I want my bench to, this will be the end of the bench here, in line with this grey plastic table saw bed. Obviously need the fence hanging over, you know, so it can still move. So what I've done is taken a measurement from here to roughly about there, so it's just past the fence. We need to create a gap within the table just so the, the fence can, you know, slide back and forth. And then I've transferred that measurement. So from the edge of the table, which will be the edge of that grey plastic bit that I showed you. So this edge here correspond to this edge here. And the measurement we took to there will correspond with this measurement here. So basically this will all be sheeted out with ply. There'll be a small shelf in here, sheeted out with ply at the sides of the table saw, and the table saw will be set flush with the top of the top of the table. Yeah, that's the plan anyway, so yeah, we'll get on to the next stage now. Right guys, I've got this flipped over again. Uh, the next stage of the process is to put some bracing in here. You know, pretty much uh, just a couple of cross braces. Um, I'm never going to have anything that heavy on top of here, so it's up to you how many you put in. But I'm just putting two or three uh, along this area here. So basically from the area of the table saw back and then we can get that sheeted. Uh, we'll do the same on the bottom, and then we'll get a sheet on the bottom as well. Right, that's all the bracing done. So we've got all the bracing on the top, uh, a couple of bracers on the bottom. Uh, this is going to be a shelf on the bottom here for tools and stuff, so don't really need too much bracing on there. So that's that, we'll go on to the next stage now. Okay, so these are the casters that I'm fitting. These are large, uh, they're five inch diameter casters. Uh, I think the total height from here to here is 170 millimetres. Um, so it'll fit these now. 
I'm just going to actually place this on here and I'm going to pre-drill the holes and then use 6x50 screws just to screw these on. So just roughly position there. Guys, I'm just cutting the shelf now for the bottom. Um, all I'm using is 12 millimeter MDF for the bottom. Um, I may change that in future, but we'll see. I'm, I'm just gonna use that for a, a small storage area, so it doesn't need to be anything substantial. We'll cut this to width and then we'll notch out for the legs here. So we're gonna have to create notches either side and for those legs up there. And hopefully we'll put that in at an angle and hopefully it'll just fit nicely. So we'll cut this now. Um, you can obviously use a circular saw for this, even a hand saw. Right guys, the next part of the process is to put a small shelf in the end of the bench where the, the table saw is going to sit on. I don't know if you can see that there. <laughs> it's quite hard to film this because the bench is quite long now. So, But basically what I've done, I've taken a reference off the top of the table saw. I've taken this measurement from the bottom of the table saw to the, the top surface. I've transferred that here. Minus, I've taken into account the 18mm ply there and the 18mm ply that will be on top of the bench. Um, obviously for your bench, if you're going to make this design, you have to take your own specific measurements for your table saw. But the, the crucial measurement here is from the top of the plate there to the, the base. Transfer that in here. And what I've done, I've cut a bit of ply just the inside diameter of here. It's basically resting on a four by two, which spans the whole end of the bench there. So it basically replicates this one here. Um, I haven't actually attached one in here yet. What I've done I've just I've attached this loosely, you know, with the clamps, and what I used to get that in position was just a car jack. Just makes it easier just to jack this up. Get this lined up properly, then I can fit the 4x2 in once it's in position and just screw it into place temporarily. So I'm pretty much just putting one screw in every piece at the moment. I'll set the table saw on and just see how it is, you know, for reference. I just want to get this platform right. Once I, once I know it's right and correct, I'll put a few more screws in and just uh, beef it up. Hopefully that's explained the way I'm doing this. Yeah. Right guys, I just, I've got the shelf in roughly where I think it should be. Uh, I was going to try and get my saw in to just confirm everything was the right size, but I can't get it in because of the, the end brace here. So I'm going to end up cutting that. I wasn't really wanting to cut this yet, but I'm going to cut it now. So I've measured the width that I want this to be, which is slightly, it's about five or 10 mil wider than the saw. I'm going to cut that out cut this out and I can slip the saw in, make sure all the dimensions, uh, the heights, everything, marry up. If I'm happy with that, then I can start framing this part out. So I'm just going to take this back across, a bit there, we'll stick a leg down there for support. Same there, leg down there, support across there, and then hopefully that'll be ready for sheeting in the whole top. So we'll do that now and see how that turns out. Right, so we've got the table saw sitting on the shelf. Um, I've just put a spirit level across the, the top of the bench top. But if you come around here, you can see, you can see it's a couple of mil too low. So I'm gonna move. I can either shim the table saw or move these up slightly. There's only one screw holding each, so I'm just gonna take the screw out move it up probably five mil and do that in all four four points and that, that should get the table saw up to the correct correct height so I'll do that now. Ok 
Okay, so I've moved all these up, probably about five or six mil. Now you can see the level's sitting flush on the top of there. But we've got a, a nice gap under there now, so that's what we're looking for. Last thing you want is for a material to catch, you know, in the, the top, so it's good to have it slightly lower. So this will serve as a good outfeed table. Right, so what I'm doing now, I'm starting to frame this area in here. So we've got the saw uh, set to the height that we want. We've got it roughly in the position that we want. So we now need to frame these side sections here. So a bit in there. And the same here, put another one in here. Okay, so we've got the two members in either side of the saw. Um, and what we're going to have to do here is put a small notch in either one of the members. So a notch there and a notch at the other side. What that's for is, I'm just turning the fence here so you can see the, see the fence moving back and forth. It's obviously gonna hit there. So I need to mark, need to mark this along there, notch a bit out. And same on that side. It only needs an inch or so. Notch it across there, take it down an inch. And that, that should be that. Okay, so I've just made a series of little cuts with the circular saw. Set the depth, just made a few cuts. I'll just hammer that out and tidy it up with a chisel. And we'll do the same on that side. notch those two areas up there there I'm actually gonna have to notch a little bit out of here as well just to let the fence travel so we'll do that now right so we've got those three areas notched there there and there I'll just I'll wind the fence back over so you can see that so you can see the clearance now So we've got clearance all the way along there, so the fence is free to travel. Right guys, I've just dry fitted this uh, tabletop one here. So this is just 18mm hardwood ply. Um, I've basically just taken it right up to the table saw. I've obviously left a gap in here just so we can remove the fence, there's enough room there. If need be. So the next thing you do now, we're going to sheet the side section in here and we'll sheet this section in here. Uh, so we'll do that now. Right guys, time to fix the top onto the frame. Um, I'm just going to I'll pretty much show you here. I'm just going to pre-drill, so pretty much. Pre-drill, quick countersink. Just a quick 50 mil screw I'm putting in here. That's it, so I'll do that in a few places all the way around. It um, doesn't need too much. Secure the top and the sides, and that'll be that fitted. Right guys, that's the top in place, so I'm just going to round over the edges now, just with, you can see, a small round over a bit here. So we'll go right around the whole table, and it just creates an easier edge. Right, so that's pretty much the bare bones of it done, guys. Um, I was going to put bracers in here. Uh, but honestly, it's solid. Solid's a rock. You know, you push down on that, it's absolutely solid, so there's no need for that. Uh, I just need to put some sort of retaining sort of blocks, you know, where the table saw will sit. Just so I'll glue them to the shelf, just so the table saw is easily lifted up and removed, if need be. Uh, the fence system, you can see, you know, all the slots and everything we put in. You know, it's now, it's now got full clearance all the way along. So you can 
see the end section is actually sitting over the, the back of the bench here, just so we've got full movement there. You can see the slots that we cut, just so we've got full movement there. So that's the bare bones of it, guys. Um, I will be putting a drawer in here. Probably some other storage sort of solutions underneath. I haven't really decided yet. I just need to make it fit for my purpose. I'll have some sort of vice on the side, I think, a wood vice. Um, but I'll make some more videos as a follow-up to this, just to show you some, you know, other, other things I'll be doing to it. Right, guys, hopefully that gave you an overview of how I built my workbench. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a, a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. Um, please subscribe. And as always, thanks again.